Today I'm going to read two different chapters because they're kind of short. The first one is called The Cross of Lorraine. Samara put her hands up. Wait! Don't shoot! I was just looking for my dog, she lied. Yes? Well, you found something else, said a smooth French voice. The Boches have given up and gone back to their guard posts on the bridge, said another French voice. Bosch was French slang for Germans. It was from a word that originally meant cabbage head. More shadowy figures emerged from the trees all around her, stepping into the moonlight where she could see them. They wore a motley hodgepodge of clothes, from dirty shirts to stolen German military boots to blue overalls. One or two of them wore the torn remnants of British military jackets, probably borrowed from pilots who hadn't survived their desperate jumps once their planes were shot down. They all wore silk, white scarves cut from parachutes, and each of them carried a weapon of one kind or another. Old hunting rifles, stolen German machine guns, British Sten guns dropped into France for the resistance. One man had a bandolier of bullets slung over his shoulder, and almost all the soldiers had pistols tucked roguishly into the tops of their trousers. And one of them, the soldier who had first spoken to Samira, wore an armband with the French red, white, and blue tricolor and the double-barred cross of Lorraine on it, the symbol of free France, the French government in exile. Samira hadn't found the Maquis. They had found her. The next chapter is called Hippolyta's Daughter. I'm so... Samira began, but the man with the free France armband cut her off. No real names, please, he said quietly. Right, of course, Samira remembered. The Maquis all used code names to protect the others and their own families if they were caught by the Germans. Her mother even had a code name within the organization, since she was a messenger for them. I'm Hippolyta's daughter, Samira said, using her mother's code name. Yes. I recognize you, said the Maquis leader. My name is Odysseus. He didn't introduce the others. Do you have a message for us? Where is your mother? Where should Samira begin? With the thing that mattered most to her, she decided. My mother has been captured by the Nazis, she said. The tearful quavering that came into her voice wasn't an act this time, but she tried to put on a brave face. We were coming to tell you... The dice are on the carpet. It's hot in Suez. The men stirred excitedly. They all knew what the code words meant, that the invasion of France was happening at long last. They clapped each other on the back and hugged and then happily got busy loading themselves up with the gear they had hidden away nearby. Their leader was all business, though. Your mother. She knew this, and she was captured by the Nazis? Odysseus asked. Yes, but she wasn't captured because she was delivering the message, Samir explained. She was captured trying to help a family escape one of the Nazi roundups. Retribution for the assassination of Major Vogel, we think. The happy mood of a moment ago was dispelled at the mention of retribution. They all knew what that meant to the French people. How many people would be murdered? They'll, they'll have taken her to Bayou, one of the men said. That's where they take all the prisoners around here. But they don't know that she knows about us, Odysseus said. They won't even know to interrogate her. You still have to help me get out, get her out, Samira said. Get her out, said a man with a southern French accent. Impossible. The Bayou garrison has at least 40 soldiers in it. But you have to, Samira begged. She'll be shot in the morning. Not if the English and the Americans do their jobs, Odysseus said. If what you heard on the radio is true, the Germans will have far more to worry about in a few hours. But what if the invasion fails, Samira cried. It's our job to make sure the invasion doesn't fail, Odysseus said. 
One of his lieutenants nodded that they were ready to go. Samira couldn't believe what was happening. They weren't going to help her get her mother back. Please, she begged. Odysseus shook his head. I'm sorry. Even if we wanted to, we couldn't defeat the entire garrison of German soldiers. And those code words you brought to us? They mean more than just the beginning of the invasion. They are specific instructions to us. We are to enact Operation Tortoise and Operation Green. Stop the Germans' trains and slow down their trucks so they can't respond to the invasion with full force. I'm afraid that's the only thing we can do to help your mother and the others survive. They were already leaving. The Maquis were Samira's last, best, and only chance to free her mother, and they were walking away. She choked back a sob. Then I'm coming with you, Samira said.